What's going on guys? Alexis Marchand here from the Four Pillar Journey. Now today we're going to be talking about the addiction to comfort. How our addiction to comfort has ultimately, ultimately led to our demise as a society. Now the other day I was watching a famous movie, Fight Club. And then after watching the movie, I usually tend to watch a, a review of what it really means, the whole movie, their whole message, right? And it was very interesting to me how the whole point of the movie is of a man who has lost his masculine essence. And this whole time, Brad Pitt is playing the main character's masculine energy, who he wanted to be. But this whole time, he was repressed by daily life his daily life had no true meaning he dressed like everybody else he talked like everybody else he looked like everybody else and that resulted in him having no identity not being able to interpret who he really was now how does this relate to comfort so many of us today are not realizing the actions we are taking that are leading or lean towards comforts. Whether that be you going to the drive-thru because you're too lazy to go home and make an actual healthy cooked meal. Whether that's you staying at home and binge watching Netflix after work when you could have gone to the gym. When instead of trying to talk to actual females, it is a lot easier for you to go in your bathroom and masturbate. When it is a lot easier to accept your shitty job because you are expected a set amount of money by the end of the week from your boss. Instead of trying to start your own business or instead of trying to elevate yourself financially where you do not have anyone telling you what to do. It is a lot easier to make friends on social media and on video games rather than going out and socializing and meeting good people. We are so accustomed to distractions and comforts that we are not realizing what it is doing to us or what it will do to us in the long term. We have to understand that us as humans are not meant to live like this. Why do you think suicide rates, depression, anxiety has risen even though we've had more convenience into our lives to make them easier? Why do you think that is? Take a second and reflect. Why are more people killing themselves and being depressed, anxious, even though we have the tools needed to supposedly cure our, not fears, but our challenges, they're supposed to make life easier. But little did we know that those challenges are actually what made us strive forward as human beings, as a collective, as a whole. So I'm here to say this. Do not let comfort distract you, but more importantly, ruin your life. This is why I say it's so important for you to have a notebook or a journal so you can reflect at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day on what you did that day. Anything you did and everything you did, write it down. I went to work, I came home, and I did X, Y, and Z. Whether productive or unproductive, we have to self-analyze our downfalls, our shortcomings, so for example, maybe I spent too much on my phone today. Maybe I didn't work on my business like I said I was. Maybe I skipped the gym because I said I was tired, but really, I was just lazy and unmotivated to go. I was undisciplined. Take self-accountability and analyze where it is you are letting comfort overtake you. Because it feels easy, it feels normal to go the easy route. A lot of people say that humans are hardwired to find the easiest way of living. And while that is true to an extent, 
we also have to realize that a life that is too easy is not even worth living. Like I said, this is why so many people tend to take their lives. And even those who have a lot of money, a lot of respect from people, a lot of those people still take their lives away and we wonder why. That is because at their root, they have no true purpose. Now, purpose is a broad term, but more specifically, they don't have a vision or goals that they're striving forward because they feel like they've already achieved everything. And like I said, they reach the level of comfort and they're not willing to go through the discomfort of finding out what it is that they can improve upon or continue doing that would lead them to a happy and successful life. So you, the individual watching this, should understand this. You are here to go through challenges and adversity, not in comfort in this fantasy world. That is it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We will stay consistent until these videos reach out to many people. I hope you guys have a good one, and peace out.